Hello everyone, it's Larry. This is a video of how I built a large-scale motorized model of the Cherry Steamer from Pocket Trains. Pocket Trains is a railway management mobile game, and the first trains you get in the game are the steamers. A while ago, I built the Cherry Steamer, used in the app icon, in my usual small scale at 4 studs wide. There's a video of it on this channel, but something I didn't mention in it was that I didn't actually start designing it in that scale. My very first attempt at this was made almost three years ago, before I'd made any small LEGO trains, and this is all I have to show for it. I was experimenting with what pieces to represent the rounded boiler with, at a large six stud wide scale, but I wasn't happy with either of these. After I made my early Thomas model, I thought about giving the steamer a go again, but this time at four wide, and I made significantly more progress. Then, after a long hiatus, I finished the small-scale Cherry Steamer engine, and I made a video of it last year. But it turns out, I wasn't done. A few months ago, I got a message from... Uh, let's call him TK. He sent me these pictures of his own six-wide-scale build of the Vanilla Steamer. I loved it, and I thought he did so well. So well that it inspired me to do my own take on it, making a full-scale version of the Cherry Steamer. I'd always wanted to make a proper, actually good, full-scale locomotive, but really big builds always intimidated me, so this would be perfect. Finally, I would build a proper custom train for normal LEGO track, and it could even be motorized. So I asked TK if I could make my own version, and he said he'd love it if I did that. So I got to work. This was my first draft. Here I managed to squeeze in all four wheels, I used the same slopes as the small steamer for this part, and I solved the boiler problem with these pieces. The only problems with them are having to put annoying tiles on top, but it's either this or a boiler with nothing on top at all. And these pieces are quite rare in this colour. The build would be doable, but I'd have to import the boiler pieces from abroad. I found a very tall piece in dark red, perfectly fit for the sides, which was very satisfying. I couldn't find a much better way of doing the smoke box than in TK's model, other than making it slightly less long. And of course, I chose to retain the incredibly weird buffer design that the pocket trains have. My next draft changed the roof, making it longer so that it slightly hangs over the rear, like in the game. I would like to remind you, by the way, that this is the only image of this train that exists. Making a whole model from one single asset is quite a fun challenge, though. I then started on the tender, which I planned to motorize, like Hornby sometimes does with their trains, instead of motorizing the much more fickle engine. For this, I used LEGO's official power functions parts, which are big and bulky, but I could just about squeeze them in. Ignore these white wheels. I also planned to use a Technic pin here to put a fourth wheel on. To connect them, I tried out using a magnetic coupling, but that made the gap really big. So I figured out how to connect them with a Technic piece, and I settled with that. I then finished the tender, giving it coal, and I'm very happy with the front of it. I then made some minor adjustments to the engine, and then the build was done. I made some instructions, but wait! Before I ordered the pieces, I thought I'd take the opportunity to finally fix some things with my small model. I did a really naff job with the pinstriping, and I only did it on one side too. Not only that, but I really wanted to actually build the tender as well. And ever since releasing its video, I've been bombarded with comments to build it. So, I finally designed a tender for it that I'm happy with. I used rounded corner pieces and door rails to separate the top from the bottom. I'm very happy with the coal, and the rest of it is pretty straightforward. So, along with the large version, I ordered the pieces. Here's the small cherry steamer with its new tender, before redoing the stickers. Then it was time for the big tender. Here is the large motorized tender on its own. And now for the engine. Ah, now remember how I needed to import those special boiler pieces? Well, they didn't arrive on time, and for ages the model was stuck looking like this. But once they finally did, it was so satisfying to put them in at last.
here's the full build without any stickers. For adding pinstriping, I used gold adhesive strips that I found on eBay. I did all of the stickering whilst live streaming right here on this channel, and my chat kept me sane for the three hours it took me, and even created a new character out of my ruler. Stan has a face now. I'm very grateful for everyone who watches me live, and you can too. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. As tiring as it was, it was so satisfying to finally have it all stickered. And here it is! I then completed one last step, my custom minifigure recreating the train driver. I'm so happy with how it all came out. Here is my refreshed and improved small-scale cherry steamer, finished. And here they are together. Here is the small steamer on my narrow gauge track. And now for a moment some of you have no doubt been waiting for. However, it didn't go as smoothly as hoped. TK had warned me that his model can't make turns, so I tried removing the front wheels. I tried removing the front wheels, and it finally worked! <sighs> anyway, you can't even tell that the front wheels aren't in from most angles. I'm sure it's satisfying for you as well, finally seeing a creation of mine moving all on its own. Oh, for goodness sake! Okay, so I removed most of the wheels and it runs fine now. There we go. Before we get to the last surprise of this video, I'd like to thank TK again for inspiring all this, and show his now updated version of the build, complete with a train boxcar and other rolling stock from the game too. Now here's my cherry steamer in a very special place. And the small one. And some of my other builds too. It was such an honour to run this train and display my other builds on the LSUR Club layout, and meeting some of the members was lovely too. Well I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please like and stay tuned for the full video of this event. Subscribe so you don't miss it. The instructions of the build are on my Rebrickable page, link in the description. Thanks for watching.